Hi, welcome back to the Sandboy Saga. Let's get started. So, this week we're going to make some life, some artificial life. And the first thing I'm going to show you how to make is how to make a plant. So, first of all, I'm going to make this green so it looks like a plant. And I'll put it in uh, the tutorial category along with all the other elements that I've done in these demos, these videos. And let's make it the default element so that it's easy enough to test. There we go. That looks planty enough. Now we need to make it fall down. So I'm going to put in a comment to say that we're putting in gravity. And for this one, I'm just going to copy the code for our sand. It's a bit cheap, but it should work. There we go. Our plant is falling down. But I think we also want it to grow. And let's just say that it's getting sun wherever it is, so it's growing all the time. Let's make it grow sideways, in every direction sideways. So if there's an empty space next to it, it copies itself into it. Let's see. Whoop! Yep, that's growing. That's growing way too fast though. Let's slow that down, let's give it a 0 0.05 chance to grow. Alright, yeah that's growing a bit slower now, that's better. So that's our plant pretty much done. Now let's make a herbivore to eat the plant. And I'm gonna make it blue and pop it in the same category. Or if I can type it right. Ah, there we go. And I'll make it the default as well. Let's see our herbivores. Oh, that doesn't look so good. I'll give it a secondary colour too. Uh, let's see that. Oh, that looks a bit better. So let's uh, give it our gravity rule again as well. Da 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 da. That looks good. But we also want him to uh, move around a bit. So let's make a rule. Oh yeah, but let's make him move sideways in a, every direction. If there's an empty space, uh, move into it and leave an empty space behind. Whoa, there they go. They're a bit too fast to see though. Let's like slow that down by half. All right, that's a bit better. Now our herbivore needs to eat plants to survive. And if not, we need to give them a little chance to die. So let's say, look, when they die, they just leave an empty space behind. Let's give that like a zero point. It's quite a low chance, 0.002. Let's test that out. So over time, they're just randomly dying. Yeah, there you go. They're becoming extinct, but we need to give them a chance to uh, eat and stuff. So let's say if there's a plant anywhere around them, any direction next to them, and let's use the letter P to symbolize plant, then eat the plant. Yeah, eat the plant. And I'm going to specify what P means. When you're writing toad splat, you just write here what parameters you want to look at. I want to look at the element where I put the P. And then you just write some JavaScript to say how to look at that element. I'm going to say, does the element equal, oh no, not water, does it equal plant demo, this element that we wrote earlier. So let's see if it eats our plant. Okay, we've got some herbivores. Yep, it's eating. It's definitely eating that plant there. But we also need to give it a chance to reproduce. So some of the time when it eats the plant, let's give it a small chance to make a copy of itself and reproduce. Let's try that out. So let's make a whole load of plant, put all the herbivores on it. And it should 
start to work. So sometimes the herbivores are dying off, and sometimes they're eating plants, and sometimes they're reproducing. And a plant keeps reproducing, and you should have yourself a little artificial ecosystem here, like a mini petri dish. Kind of cool. Thanks for watching.